morning today is today is august 20th and i decided i'm going to start vlogging my weight loss journey that's what i said i was going to do in the beginning of the channel when i opened it up and let's see where this goes all right so the first thing i'm going to do is weight myself to see where i'm at all right so today's date is august 20th 2008 and it's a monday and it's 9 10 in the morning so all right so this is the weighing machine that i'll be using this is from the brand my life my shop and i already input my information this is how much i weigh a little bit under 180 so it's 178.2 and my bmi is 30.9 all right so i'm here sitting on my treadmill and let's just talk for a little bit so i decided to record this because i wanted to hold myself accountable yes oh I'm done working out. Now I'm going to do my protein shake. The one I've been using from Isopure Zero Carbs. And as you can see, it has a lot of good stuff. All I do is add one scoop and one scoop of the protein, one one tablespoon of the flax seeds and eight ounces of water. So now I'm getting ready to get dressed for then I could go and do T25. I ate breakfast at 12 to break my fast since I am intermittent fasting. And the last time I ate yesterday was at 5 p.m. Well, at 4 p.m. I don't eat after 5. Careful. 
careful. One, two. Oh, this one's much better, huh? Be careful. Come on, give me a hand. One, two, three. Oh no, not there. All right, come on. Now I'm gonna get ready to do my dinner. Everyone, well, for the kids it's lunch, but for me it's dinner because I eat. I eat before five o'clock. I don't eat after five. So they're gonna have pizza for lunch, and I'm gonna have a steak salad. Here I am chopping up the lettuce and I'm just going to add pink salt, Himalayan pink salt, lemon, I mean lime and olive oil. I'm adding some red peppers that I put in the oven and then I'll just add them to a salad. lunch their lunch Love journey because I will be more accountable to what I do and lately I've been breaking my diet in the weekends especially the weekends during the week I'm good but weekends is my problem so I figured this will really motivate me to stay on track I don't know if I said it but I am doing the ketogenic diet and I'm doing intermittent fasting, so because I work the night shift, I stop eating before five o'clock. I don't eat after five because that's when I go to sleep. So I work midnight shift and I break my fast at 12 in the afternoon. So I eat only from 12 to five. So that's about 18 hours of fasting. I know it's more normal to do, I heard of the 16 hours for women, but I've been doing that because, I've been doing the 18 hours because of my shift. During the weekends, I'm more lenient, so I'll probably do 14 to 16 hours of fasting, and then I'll start eating. But for the most part, I just eat from 12 to 5, 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. Was that fun? And this whole part got so flooded. It's water everywhere on the grass. We're just waiting for the kids to get out of school. The two boys.
Fun! Fun! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Good morning, today is Friday. So I'm gonna start already with my breakfast. I'm gonna show you how I make my bulletproof coffee. So I start with heating up a cup of water. I'm already running out of coffee, but this is the instant coffee that I use. This is the Nescafe Classico Dark Roast. So I add two teaspoons of these, which I already added here. One cup of water. This is probably like 10 ounces of water. And then I'm gonna have a teaspoon of, a teaspoon of ghee butter, because the water is already hot it will melt in there. That's how I look all buttery. Then what I do is use one tablespoon of the sugar-free hazelnut creamer. This is from the Coffee Mate brand. I love this one. This is my favorite one. I usually get it in the liquid form. But I found this one, so I thought it was really convenient. So I only add one tablespoon. And I just let it sit on the top and then it'll just sink down. You could stir it, it doesn't really matter. I just leave it there because I'm not going to drink it now. But when I get ready to drink it, I am going to put it for 10 to 17 seconds on the, on the blender. All right, so now I'm going to seal it up. And come with me. This is the small little blender that I use. This is the Ninja. And this is the Auto IQ, a thousand watts. So all I do is put it there. Now the next thing I do is pour it into my plastic container. This is very large. 24 ounces. So 24 ounces fit in here. And I pour in the coffee. 
and then I put as much ice as it fits and that's how I make iced coffee bulletproof I have iced mentioned coffee. it before but before breakfast or me having anything I do have a tablespoon of coconut oil and I always use the un unrefined expeller press virgin coconut oil and I drink a tablespoon of that while I'm doing breakfast, I do get another tablespoon of coconut oil and I do the oil pulling. Read about it, it's really beneficial if you never heard of it. Okay, so I'm gonna continue trying to do my breakfast. Okay, so this is how my omelet turned out. I was trying to get it out in one piece, but definitely was a fail. But it's fine. It will taste just as great. And then this is the iced coffee that I did, the Bulletproof iced coffee. It's already really cold. I'm probably going to put a little bit more ice. And that'll be my breakfast. I love spicy food, so whatever I could put sriracha on, I do it. And if you didn't know, sriracha is less than one gram of carbs. This is a brand that I use. So good. So while I work out, I drink 20, I think this is 28 ounces, yeah, 28 ounces of water and I put two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, the one with the mother and this is the brand that I always use, the Bragg's. So add a little bit of ginger. Ginger is really good for your stomach and lots of other things. I so I'm not in the mood for T25 today. And I'm going to do around 30 to 35 minutes.
workout done for the day. I'm doing my protein shake now. I changed my shirt. The other one was super, super sweaty. And we're here at the park, waiting for the kids to get out of school. Again? You wanna get it again? Yes? Catch! Oh. Again? One, two. Get it, get it, get it. <laughs> Throw the ball. No? You're taking it? Be careful. 